Nigerian to blame Buhari for super ego's defeat. Welcome to the news and thank you for turning in to listen. So, social media has been set on fire since um, Nigerians started playing, you know, in this Afcon and this African um, Nations Cup. Men, people have been given a lot of support. In fact, we have been enjoying the game. But the way they started, you know, it keeps you hungering for more. Ah, Nigeria will do beautifully well. Nigeria will do beautifully well. And you go, you know, it goes as planned. You know, they beat after beat as in they keep, you know, doing their best and, you know, scaling through. Not until yesterday. Since yesterday was not a good day for everyone, for Nigerians that have been supporting, that have been watching this match with so much enthusiasm that, oh, Nigeria, at least we'll finish at least um, first free. We should finish first free. Like, you know, we, we, we're doing well. We won't make mouth to we tell Ghana, not see we not tell Ghana people. We run our mouth pra, 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 for them, do everything, do all this fun, cause them, yap them. Eh? Even when they jabber. <laughs> When when Ghani has double like this, we feed them on social media only for the worst to happen. Yesterday, before yesterday's match, we heard Reno, I think Reno Mokri, you know, Reno actually posted that um this the super ego spoke to the I mean the president spoke to the super egos. Reno has already started saying it, that this thing is not going to end well. That why did they not, why did they allow, why did they pick the president's call? That we all know in this part of a country that, you know, anything that I did not say is rather that said. Rather said that anything that Buhari touches is always, you know, it always goes south. That it doesn't end well. Now look at the Nigerians, how enthusiastic we are. We are, we are quite sure that first to first, at least first thought, we are going to be in the top three. What is actually happening? They started this match and like play like play. Before you know it, Tunisia just flow goes one zero. Even me, I was pained. Ah no 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 no, I was pained. I was pained and people came out on social media and it was on fire again. Like why? Who did this to us? Reno they saw. Reno saw this. Reno saw this thing. I was saying it. What is even happening? Why did they pick the president? Ah Omo, there is no way. WhatsApp status, Facebook status, Messenger status, everywhere, Twitter. Facebook, Instagram, ah, people are saying, oh, are you, this man has killed us, so, no people were pained, sincerely, as a Nigerian too, I was also pained, ah, Omo, I was with hope that, ah, okay, first thought, we have been doing well now, you know, we are like, ah, ah we, we, we're trying, and it was like, ah, maybe, I was even saying, eh, the way that they started playing, that so the super egos will even win something in this administration. Ah, oh my she was let it be recorded that ah in social so administration, you know, something good happened. Only for it to happen. Ah oh more. It was not funny. It was not funny at all. Nigerians are going to be heading back if they're not already on their way back. I'm pained. Let's find out more about this in detail. Please stay with us. Nigerians are blaming President Muhammad Buhari for the failure of Super Eagles to beat Tunisia that struggled to qualify for the round of 16. Nigeria lost 1-0 to Tunisia at the Rumd Adige Stadium in Gora in Cameroon. The Nigerian team was stunned by the Eagles of Carthage in a match that was predicted to go in the way of the Super Eagles. Unfortunately for the favorite, they were defeated by the Tunisia whose 12 squad members and five coaching crew members missed out due to COVID-19. Buhari and Sunday charged the Super Eagles to continue to make Nigerians happy on defeating Eagles of Carthage. He said via Zoom, I want to thank you for what you've done for the nation so far. You have to keep winning. Nigerians are proud of you. You have demonstrated patriotic zeal and a high level of discipline, determination and commitment in all the games you have played so far. And that is why we are all happy with you. The government will continue to support you within available resources at our disposal. But reacting to the loss, Reno Mokri, a critic of Buhari, said it will be red card, Ihanacho, yellow card. All the time they have been playing, this thing never happened. Why is it that it is the that is supposed to Buhari that this series of unwelcome events rendered us? Energies are very contagious. Avoid negative people. 
Someone also tweeted, the second I heard Buhari call the super egos, I knew it would not probably end well. Weary face. There is something about Bubu and how he expresses himself. The effect is always slow and uncertain. Another tweeted, never considered first until you recall them. No red card to recall them. What he cannot destroy does not exist. Another also wrote, we considered a goal, got a red card. He would have listed sports and achievement if we had won. Sincerely, why didn't he just give Obisi Banjo to his old past's message? Eh? Ha! Huh. I'm still pained. Like, my heart is shattered. My heart is shattered. Ha! Huh. It's been a long time since we've had this kind of excitement. Believe you me, this brought families together. Families sat down to watch this together. Like, ah, no, 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 no. People were like, ah, let us be that. Ah, let, let us even win a game. Not until on Sunday happened. I am pain. i like, Cherry, it is so sad. Ha! Ah. Sincerely. Anytime he speaks to Super Ego, it must end up in cry. Ryan Omokura already tweeted it before they start the match. Why would they allow Barry to speak to them? The last time he checked anything Buhari touched his hand must be a failure. Even Anthony Joshua, after turning his belt, he lost them. True talk, sir. We're all in trouble. God help us to survive these evil times. Nigerians too. <laughs> we are very funny people, I swear. <laughs> in the midst of us crying against our loss, crying about our loss, we are also cracking up ourselves. Ah, my God. He touched the live pigeon. He touched the live pigeon and forced it to fly. But he could not. On the last October 1st Independent Day, he touched the dove and exposed it to fly. Unfortunately, the dove could not fly. Chai, what a contagious failure. He touched the economy and collapsed within months to Fiaqua. Oh my God. <clears throat> Nothing. Oh my God. Don't forget that Prime Minister Elijah has predicted that Nigeria will not win the Afghan but to qualify for the World Cup. I like, oh, lose this one. <sighs> ah, Buhari is the same as Akufuadu. Anything he touches brings home in. Sincerely, Nigerians, eh? these people are really cracking me up. They remarked, they really marked Simon Moses very well. If, even not, if not, eh? What in will be played there? Kilechenko, why must they put those people in second half? Even though be godfathers that they have destroyed Nigeria, must you call them to thank them for what they have done? Mr. President, you, what good have you done to my humanity since 2015? These people are cracking me up here. Yeah. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning into the same. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.